One can do object-oriented programming in common Lisp using CLOS. But what if it is too much? If I don't need polymorphism and inheritance, I really just an object, which is something that stores state and can do some operations. In this case, I can just use functions. Our goal is to create a really simple object that just count. Every time we call it, we get a bigger value. In this example, we declare a variable c, which is an instance of counter in a let, and then we call two times c. We have to use phone call because this is a variable and common lisp is a lisp too, as we have seen in a previous video. One may think about using a global variable. For example, I declare a variable count and then inside the counter function I increment it. This solution is not good, for example because I can't have multiple counters at the same time, because there is just one global variable. The variable should be strictly connected with the object, and if I create multiple objects, each should have its own counter. The variables introduced with let are lexical scoped, which means that they can be used only inside the block of code in which they are defined. For example, here we have an x, and we can use x only in before the close parentheses. Outside of this block, x does not make any sense or there could be other x declared, but are not these x we have declared here. This may seem obvious, but it is not. For example, the var follows a different rule. Moreover, in a let, the last expression is returned. For example, we can see that here we have a function foo, which declares a variable x, and it is defined in this expression. When it gets evaluated, 1 plus 42 is 43, and 43 is returned as the return of the let, which is then the return of the function. This is a really well-known trick, which in the Lisp world is known as let over lambda, and allows us to create what is known as a closure. We have a function counter. Inside we have a let, with a variable count set to zero. Count makes sense inside the scope of the let which is the lambda, but lambda is just the definition of the function, and so it gets returned without executing it. When we run the function counter, the result is a lambda function, which is set to, in this case, to the variable counter. In this case, I've used the same name for the variable and the function. In Lisp, this is completely fine, but we can use different names just to prevent confusion. In the end, the variable counter will contain a lambda function, which has inside a reference to the variable inside the old let. So common Lisp cannot free the variable count which was inside the let when we executed the function, because we still have some valid pointer to that value. The result is that now the variable counter has its own state, which will be defined as long as we don't lose a reference to the lambda function. If we run this code, Always remember to use phone call because this is not inside the function namespace but in the values namespace because it was defined with the var. But the result is exactly what we expected. If we have multiple counters, they do not interfere one with the other. One objection may be that in an object we can have multiple functions. But the same is true for the closures. For example, with values we can return multiple functions that uses the same shared variable. In this case, we have another counter, which returns two functions, one to increase and the other to decrease. In this case, we can assign using the multiple value bind or in a setf using the symbol values. The result are two function pointer. When I call the inc, it will increase, while when I call dec, it will decrease, exactly as we expected. We have an object with two methods. The problem is that if we have really a lot of functions, it is uh, so inconvenient to have uh, the multiple value bind. Another solution is to return a list of functions or a vector of functions or a Nash map with all the functions and so on. For example, here we have basically a class for a person. The constructor are the parameter passed to the function makePerson. Inside, using a let, we create the closure and then we return a list of functions. The first one is the getter for the name, the second is the getter for the age, and then we have a function for the birthday that increases the age, 
and print a happy birthday. The main issue is that uh, to use those function, we should uh, use, for example, the first element of this list or the second element of this list and so on. This is the reason why it's really convenient to make some wrapper that just do a fun call of the right element of the list. For example, the getter of the name just does a fun call of the first element of the list person. Here we can see an example of the usage. We create a new person using make person, then we print the name, the age, we call the celebrate person birthday, and then we can see the age has been updated. And this is exactly the result we expected. One may think about using the macros instead of function for the wrap person. The main advantage is that we would avoid a function call, because every time we want to call a method using this way, we have exactly two function calls, because we first call get person name, which calls first of person. While if we use a macro, it gets replaced during compilation, and so in the end, the final program will just call first of person. We have just shown the main reason why one would use macros instead, but it's a really small performance improvement. If it's not strictly needed, I would always use functions instead. For example, because otherwise we cannot use high order function. Here we have a list of persons, and our goal is to get the age of all the persons. This can be done really easy using mapcar, which is a map that applies the function getPersonAge to each element of the list. We can see that the age has exactly the value we expected. Now let's try to declare everything using macros instead. I declare the class and then the macros. The previous example works the same way. But if I call the high order function, we get an error. This is because getPersonAge is a macro and not a function. Closure are a really simple concept, but which is everywhere when programming. For a beginner, it's useful to explore closures because they really teach you how to use common Lisp. And for example, the fact that you have to use fun call when calling a function defined inside a variable. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe.